Dear fellow Ghanaians, um, please listen to this extract from the Rockefeller Foundation um, article. It's actually on the website, um, a PDF document. And this is the outline. One, hypothesize a simulated global outbreak Required steps, various phases, overall timeline, and expected outcomes. R Rockefeller Lockstep 2010. Create a very contagious but super low mortality rate virus. To create, eh? to fit the needed plan. And they have SARS stroke HIV hybrid research strain. So you see, it is not a purely viral thing it's a hybrid research strain created at fort detrick class 4 lab from 2008 to 2013 as part of a research project to find out why coronavirus spread like wildfire in bats but have an extremely hard time infecting humans hence the four hiv insects uh, also known as the missing key to infect the humans a true receptor in brackets Create a weaponized version of the virus with a much higher mortality rate as a backup plan, ready to be released in phase 3, but only if needed. And they have, in brackets, SARS, HIV, MERS, Middle Eastern Respiratory um, Disease or something. A weaponized tribrid strain created at Fort Detrick Class 4 Lab in 2015. Okay? Transport the research stream to a different class 4 lab, National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg, Canada, and have it stolen and smuggled out by China. Wow. On purpose, and taken to China's only class 4 laboratory, Wuhan Institute of Virology in Wuhan, Wuhan China, for added plausible deniability and to help cement the wanted backup public script as something to fall back on if needed. Primary script being its natural backup script being that China created it and released it by accident. That's why we said pandemic or accident according to plan. Fun all the taking the talking heads, Fauci, Bergs, Tedros, and agencies, WHO, uh, NIA, CDC, UN, that would be involved with pandemic response prior to the planned release of the research strain to control the wanted script throughout the operation. Create and fund the vaccination development and rollout plan so it's capable of being rolled out on a global scale. Bill Gates' Decade of Vaccines, Global Vaccine Action Plan 2010 to 2020. Create and fund the vaccination verification certification protocols, digital ID, to enforce, confirm the vaccination program after the mandatory rollout is enacted, Gates ID 2020. Simulate the lockstep hypothesis just prior to the planned research strain release, using a real-world exercise as a final war game to determine the expected response timelines and outcomes. Gates and that's event 201, October 2019. Release the research strain at the Wuhan Institute of Virology is itself and then blame its release on a natural scapegoat as the wanted primary script, the Wuhan wet market, November 2019. You see how this thing has been really mm -hmm. captioned? This is mystery of iniquity, wickedness, cast in secrecy. Downplay the human-to-human -human transmission for as long as possible to allow the research strain to spread on a global scale before any country can lock down or respond to avoid initial infection. Can you imagine? No wonder the WHO, that's exactly what the WHO, WHO did. Downplay the human-to-human -human transmission for as long as possible to allow the research strain to spread on a global scale before any country can lock down or respond to avoid initial infection. Once a country has seed infection in place, lockdown, incoming, outgoing travel, but keep the transmission within the country spreading for as long as possible. 
Once enough people in a country or region are infected and not forced quarantines or isolation for that area and expand the lockdown regions slowly over time. Overhype the mortality rate by tying the recess strain to deaths that have little to, to nothing to do with the actual virus to keep the fear and compliance at a maximum. If anyone dies for any reason and is found they have COVID, consider they have COVID, consider it a COVID death. And if anyone is thought to of maybe had symptoms of COVID, to assume they have COVID and consider it a COVID death. So this is what we have been hearing that a lot of the deaths have been exaggerated. That's why the Americans are challenging the Chinese. The Chinese were not wrong; they were quoting the right figures. But this thing was bred and brewed in America by the Americans, by the depopulation agenda of Bill Gates, uh, uh, Anthony Fauci, uh, and the Rockefeller Foundation. So what they are counting in America, a lot of them has nothing to do with COVID-19. There are many people who have died of other diseases that have nothing to do with COVID-19, but have some of the symptoms, and they just branded all of them as COVID-19. That's why Anthony Fauci could stand and speak with confidence that there will be 200,000 infection uh, 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 deaths. Shame on him. Keep the public quarantine for as long as possible to destroy the region's economy. Can you see? Can you see? To destroy the region's economy, create civil unrest, break down the supply chain, and cause the start of mass food shortages, as well as cause people's immune system to weaken due to lack of interaction with other people, bacteria, uh, the outside world, uh, also known as or aka, the things that keep our immune system alert and alive. So this thing we are doing is actually making us susceptible to, 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 to diseases and weakening our immune system. That's why we should go out. They are joking. Then play and attack any potential treatments and continue to echo that only a cure is viable to fight this virus uh, uh, or also known as a vaccine. Continue to drag out the quarantine over and over and over again in two-week intervals. Hey! Causing more and more people to eventually stand up and protest to, or defy them. Eventually, hmm, God have mercy. Eventually, end the phase one quarantine once they get enough public pushback around June 2020. And publicly say that they still think it is too early to end the isolation, but are going to do it anyways. Once the public go back to normal in back, back to normal in coast, wait a few weeks and then continue to overhype the recess strain mortality rate, August to September 2020, and combine combine it with the increase in deaths due to people dying from standard illnesses at a higher rate than normal due to having highly weakened immune systems for months of being in isolation to help further pad the mortality rate and have the upcoming phase two lockdown. Mm, so there's a phase two lockdown they are planning. Eventually a night phase two quarantines, October to November, on a even more extreme level and blame the protesters, mostly people who don't trust their government already, mm, for the cause of, of the larger second wave. We told you so. It was too early. This is all your fault. Because you needed a haircut, your freedoms have consequences. Enforce the phase two quarantine at a much more extreme level, increasing the penalty for defiance. Replace fines with jail term. Deem all travels as non-essential. Increase checkpoints, including military assistance. Increase tracking, tracing of the population. Mandatory apps. Take over control of food gas large-scale shortages so that people can only get access to essential products services if they are first given permission keep the phase two lockdown in place for a much longer period of time than the phase one lockdown continuing to destroy the global economy further degrade the supply chain and further amplify the food shortages and alike quell and public Quell any public out outrage using extreme action and force and make anyone who defies them appear as public enemy number one 
to those who are willing to submit. After a rather long phase two lockdown, six plus months, roll out the vaccination program, vaccine certification, and make it mandatory for everyone, giving priority access to those that submitted from the start and have those that are for it attack those that are against it, saying they are a threat to the cause of all. Say, huh? the problems we we can't go back to normal until everyone takes the vaccine people define them are hurting our way of life and therefore are the enemy can you imagine can you imagine fellow Ghanaians? listen no oh. listen if the majority of people go along with the agenda then let those people enter the new system new normal while limiting the minority that defy the agenda's ability to work and travel if the majority of the people go against agenda, then release the weaponized SARS cum, HIV cum, MERS, tribrid strain as phase three, a virus with a 30% plus mortality rate as a final scare to push the minority to quickly become the mi majority and give a final, we told you so, to those that didn't listen. And not the new economy model, Microsoft patent 0606 zero six cryptocurrency system using body activity data which is based on human behavior and willingness to submit to each version of black mirrors 15 million merits using food water shelter and other essentials as a weapon of enforcement of the new economic system basically do what we want and get rewarded gain credits score and gain more access to things you need to survive or go against what we want and get penalized. Those credits and those access to things you need to survive. This is recorded. Everything I've read to you, fellow Ghanaians, is what they have planned. And I am passing it around for everybody to pass it around and hear what is being, has been planned. You can see everything that has taken place to date is right uh, uh, within this document from Rockefeller Foundation that somebody uh, has been able to sneak out to us and I've read it out because um, it is on the website, they may just take it out so nobody can go and get it again so now I have it recorded so we can all listen to it pass it around and so that those who are saying it is all conspiracy theory can see, that's what the Bible means, the mystery of iniquity, it is cast in secrecy and we are praying that this year, before the end of the year, God will expose all these wicked deals that they have cast in secrecy to, to, to put the world on their knees to get all of us vaccinated. That is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our nation great and strong, bold to defend the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts with true humility. Help us to cherish fearless honesty. Help us resist oppressor's rule. We are resisting this oppression of Bill Gates and Tony Fauci. Yes, your sorrows and the deep oppression agenda. We are resisting them. And God is our helper. They will not succeed. I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God judge between them and us. They are, they are here to destroy humanity and put us in a panic mode and deceive us and turn the world upside down. The world doesn't belong to these wicked guys. No way. They will not have their way. God will have his way. And what I'm doing now is part of of what the church is supposed to do to resist them he says the mystery of iniquity worketh but he that letteth he that restrains them shall continue to do so until they be taken out uh, and so as long as the church of the lord jesus christ is here they will not succeed amen there is a, a policy of the american government it's called the kissinger report which was produced in the mid 70s when henry kissinger was the um, was involved with the government and it explicitly states which to this day it remains the official policy of the american government it has not changed mm -hmm. may not be implemented by mm -hmm. trump but it remains the same that uh, the purpose of the foreign policy in africa was to uh, reduce the, the population so to give aid to countries in africa not uh, clean water and schooling and things like that but uh, contraception and abortion in order to shrink the population of Africa because they have great mineral resources there. That sounds diabolical. It I mean, is, I, I, yes. 
that sounds like something conceived in the mind of Margaret Sanger. Yeah, definitely. And so the uh, at the time, Kissinger and those involved with the Carter administration wanted to shrink the population, make sure that the Africans do not develop and do not use the resources for themselves, because we in the States, we need them. There is a, a concerted effort of foreign powers to uh, control the population of Africa. Africa is a huge continent, could, mm. could feed thousands of more people, but the uh, policies of the West, especially in, in Europe. For example, between 1990 and the year 2000, the United States, Canada, and Europe contributed about $6 billion in contraceptives, not to help the people, not to give clean water, clean food, uh, that mm. is uh, not to fight malaria, for example. No, of course, uh, perish the thought. Never yeah. let them die. That's the whole idea. So, in our work in HLI, we denounce this reality to make the Africans aware that they have to defend themselves against the the influence of foreign powers.